Hi babes, welcome back to a blurry video on my channel. Today I am starting one last new collection. This will probably be the last one for a while. Um, no promises though. But this collection is one I've been wanting to pick up for a while. Um, it's Red Velvet Joy. I was also debating Yeti. I might collect like, I might like, like semi-collect Yeti's cards, like selectively collect her. But I really wanted to collect Red Velvet. I've been wanting to collect Red Velvet. I really like Red Velvet um, and I really like Joy. So, you know, and on screen, I'm gonna put the template I made for Joy for what I'm collecting for her. I'm not collecting everything. This is just everything that I will collect for her. And um, really quick, I know my thumbnail is wonky. My nail is broken, so I had to use like a tea bag to patch it up and um yeah it just does not it's like very like we're just not even gonna like yeah i did my nails this morning so yeah and my fingers are kind of dry because i was soaking them in acetone so please don't comment about that because i you're making me insecure guys okay anyway we're gonna move on so let me see the seraphim so Red Velvet should go before Stacy. I don't remember how many pages I need for Joy. I think it's like six or seven, but I do know how I'm gonna set up her photo cards. Um, and I do have two to store for this video. I know it's only two, that's kind of sad, but yeah, I just have two cards for Joy. But I did make those for, oops, everything. And I also have some cards of hers on the way. Um, but these are the fillers. I'm also out of white sleeves still. I know it's been like over a month or so that I've been out, but I don't know, man. I'm just, I don't have anything. It's so sad. But anyway, let me get some pages in here. We'll just start with two for now. I know I'm gonna need more than two, but you know, it's whatever. Okay, sorry. I had to take a break really quick. Okay, so we're gonna set up for joy. I'm very excited. However, in setting up for uh, one last collection, oh, I did want to like talk about a comment I got. I had somebody asking on like one of my older videos. Um, wait, I have to pull up my fucking template. Hold on. Okay, sorry. Anyway, where was I? Um, I had a comment about somebody basically saying uh, something along the lines of like how. Is there like a certain amount where like you're collecting too much? Like there's too much. Do you know what I mean? Like just people asking if like collecting a certain amount of idols is too much or whatever, because I guess some people on Instagram told them that like collecting over like a certain amount of idols is like too much. And for that, I just want to say fuck those people because, oh fuck with them. <laughs> Because if you enjoy collecting and it makes you happy, you shouldn't care how many idols you collect to feel that way. Like, at the end of the day, it's a collection, it's a hobby, it's something you do for fun. So there's no such thing as doing it too much, you know what I mean? And I don't know, that comment just made me kind of sad for that person because like, as you guys know, I collect a ton of people. I collect Triple S full group, Luna full group, Stacy full group, now I'm collecting Joy, I collect Olive Woods, which she has so many goddamn photo cards, like, I collect a lot of fucking people. Sorry, I had to like, double check my layout. But yeah, because I collect a ton of people and um, I feel like if you have a hobby that makes you happy, for one, you shouldn't, oh wait, I'm putting these in backwards, oops. Um, then you shouldn't care, like, how other people feel about it, because there's no reason to care. Do you know what I mean? Like, I was thinking about how I would talk about it earlier, and I feel like I explained it to myself earlier better than I'm doing right now. But just, like, if something ever, like, if something makes you happy and it's not, like, what's the word? Like, it's not crippling your life to do whatever you're doing, like, collecting photo cards then do it because you're happy to do it. Do you know what I mean? Like, you don't always have to hold other people's like opinions. Like you don't always have to value them higher than your own. You know what I mean? 
like people who like comment like that like either they're just like bitter or they're like jealous at that point because like at the end of the day if you're judging somebody for collecting when you also collect and somebody collects way more idols than you and you're like judging them for that i think that's weird because you also collect too sure your collection might not be as big as theirs but like you're still doing the same exact shit you know what i mean i don't know that shit kind of just bothers me um okay i need more pages this next page is going to be for day one and day two. So, but I don't know. I just feel bad when people like be judging people for doing stuff that they like are happy doing. Do you know what I mean? Like, stop being fucking weird. Like, goddamn, let people be happy, you fucking asshole. I don't know. Basically, you just don't need to value other people's opinions all the time. Obviously, there are, like, certain circumstances where, like, it is important to value what other people have to say. You know what I mean? Because, like, maybe if somebody's, like, looking out for you. But, like, when it comes to collecting photo cards, as long as you're not, like, digging yourself in a hole financially over collecting K-pop or just collecting in general. Or really just any hobby that you have. As long as it's not harming you like that, you shouldn't care what other people have to say. Like, who gives a shit? If you want to collect 15 idols, collect 15 idols. You know what I mean? Like, who fucking gives a shit, bro? Because I certainly don't. And I'd be a hypocrite to say that I do when I collect so many goddamn people. You know what I mean? Okay. Next week, finale. Which I was going to make finale a five pattern. Um, okay, so the three scrapbook versions. I guess I can do across the middle. And then I'll do the two finale versions on top and bottom. And I got, I wish I had white sleeves. I just don't right now, which is terrible. Um, and as you guys can tell, I also organized everything beforehand so I wouldn't have another fiasco like my triple S setting up video. That was terrible, my God. Okay, I will also be collecting Joy Solo for Hello. So I did set up for that as well. And there is one, two, three, four, five, there's six cards. I'm gonna do the case version and the photo book cards like diagonal from each other, you know what I mean? I don't know. Also, lately, okay, so I talked about in like an older video how I was like watching shit on Netflix and somebody commented like, talk about whatever you want. And so, thank you. Or like to talk about what I'm watching. And so lately I've been watching like a ton of Ted Lasso and that show is like literally designed for me to not like it because like pretty much the entire cast of that show is like all men. They're like British, most of them, and they play soccer or football. Those are three things I don't like. And yeah, I love the show. Like I literally can't stop watching it. I've been binging it like fucking crazy. But now I have to like stop because I'm fully caught up to season three right now. And I also have to watch it with a friend because I promised my friend I'd watch it with him. So I have to like wait. I can't just like binge it whenever a new episode comes out. I have to like wait until he's ready. And it's, God, I just like, I can't. First of all, the problems, by the way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Fuck! Okay, so I have to do Queendom and Fill My Rhythm on one page. And um, Birthday will have to be on its own. That's so fucking awful. Okay, so I'm gonna do the Queen's versions then, like diagonal here. And then I'm gonna do the girls' version here. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with like the two photo book versions of Feel My Rhythm. And then like the red versions. And then I'm gonna do the Orgel, Orgel, whatever the fuck, Orgy version in the corner here. So this is gonna be a similar layout to how I did. Um, wait, what did I just do this layout for? Am I done? Oh, for for hello. Yeah, god damn. Okay. And now I just need one more page for these last four. Right here. This video is so quick. Wow. I don't know how my Chewy and my Triple S videos took me so long to do. I think I just didn't know what the fuck I was doing. But when I prep, I'm like, actually... Should I just do a four pattern for now? I think so. Okay, photo book. Also, I've been thinking about collecting Red Velvet's albums because they're so cute. And also, I just, I've been such a Red Velvet fade, like, phase right now. 
Like, I've been listening to Red Velvet way more than I usually do. I don't know why, but wow. I forgot how good their music is. Okay, now I just need to get my two joy cards that I have to store. <gasps> Fuck, I almost dropped everything on the floor because I'm an idiot. Okay, so I sleeve the two cards I have. Um, I also should show how I set up for joy. So I did everything in order. So I have ice cream cake, the red, the velvet, Russian roulette, rookie, rookie, the red summer, and the second red summer card. This is going to be an eight pattern layout. And then this is a nine pattern. I did the perfect velvet, the perfect velvet, the perfect red velvet, the perfect red velvet, the perfect red velvet, the perfect red velvet kino. Summer Magic, Summer Magic Limited, RBB, RBB. And then we have Day 1 Guidebook, Day 1, Day 1 Version, Day 1 Version, the Kino, and then we have the Day 2 Kino, the two Day 2 Versions, and the Day 2 Guidebook. So I did them like mirroring each other. And then we did, this is for Finale, so the three scrapbook versions are in the middle and the Finale versions are top and bottom. And then for hello, I did the three photo book versions like this way, and then the three case versions this way. And then for queendom, I did the exact same thing. I did the queen's versions here, the girl's version, and then for feel my rhythm, the rebe version here, and the orgel, whatever the fuck, orgel, whatever version here. And then for birthday, so far I just have photo book, cake, digipack, and S mini cards. Um, if their next era has like four cards or something, then I'll do like an eight pattern again, but who knows when Red Velvet is having a comeback. But the two cards today that I have to put away are, I have one for day two, I have one of my favorite joy cards. Like this card is so cute. What is on this sleeve? I don't know. There's like a weird line on the sleeve, but it's fine. Such a cute joy card though. And I love the Red Velvet photo card backings. Like they seriously have some of the best photo card backings. But I'm gonna put this one. Actually, I'll put Cowboy, Cowgirl Joy in the middle. Oh my gosh, how cute. Okay, and then the next card I have is for Queendom. I just have Joy's, one of Joy's Queen's versions. Um, I have this one, which is probably my favorite version, like one from the Queen's version. This top reminds me so much of Karina's Black Mamba like outfit, like one of her outfits. Does anybody else see that? I don't know. But I'm gonna put this one in the middle here. Okay, <laughs> that was everything I had to store for Joy. So I'll just do like one last little flip through and then I'll wrap up the video because oh my God, it's so short, what the hell? But yeah, we have this page. I need to get white sleeves. I'm so sorry. this page day one and day two finale queendom and or no this is um hello then we have queendom and feel my rhythm and then we have birthday um also another fun fact i forgot to mention Joy and Yeti are my biases, and purple and green are my two favorite colors. So, like, I feel like it was meant to be that they're my biases. Anyway, that was everything I had to store for this video. Thank you, Bay, so much for watching. All my supplies are linked down below if you want to follow me on Instagram right here. I don't know what else to say. If you like Red Velvet, follow me, because now I'm a, I'm a official Revel Love, right? Because I'm collecting a member now. So if you're interested in that, thank you. Please subscribe if you want to. Also, this collection will probably be slow because I have a few friends who collect Red Velvet. They both collect Yeti and they both tell me how terrible collecting Red Velvet is and like trading for Red Velvet. So this will probably be like a very like slow collection, you know what I mean? So just don't even like, I don't know. I'm not gonna be rushing through this one, you know what I mean? Um, I will be taking my time. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much again. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye!